Hello and welcome to GC Motors here in Harrogate, North Yorkshire. Today we're taking a look at this 2022 Land Rover Defender 110 XS Edition. So in today's video we're going to go around the outside of the car, we'll go through the inside, we'll showcase the fantastic condition it's in, as well as demonstrate a few of the features and options that it has to offer. So starting up front, first thing we'll notice is that lovely Hakuba silver paint. We've got the Matrix LED headlights on there as well. As we come to the side, we'll see the 20 inch alloy wheels. The tires are part of our checkoff process, so you can be confident in them having plenty of tread left. That's all sat atop an air suspension. As we come along the side, we'll see the privacy glass there to the rear windows, as well as the back windows. We've got those gloss black roof rails up top. Around the back, we've got the color coded rear wheel cover. Got the LED combination tail lights. Got a deployable tow bar on there as well, the button for which is in the boot. As we come down the opposing side, you'll see the fantastic condition the paint's in as it starts to pick up the reflections from the showroom. Now there will be some age related wear and tear due to the age and mileage as you would expect, but we do guarantee no scratches through the paintwork, no dents and no scuffs on the alloy wheels. So we'll take our first look at the interior, beginning with the front passenger side. The door card houses the speakers for the audio, the electric controls for the windows. Got the Defender aluminium kick plates, the deep pile floor mats. The passenger seat is a perforated ebony leather cooled and heated electric seat. Moving on to the back seats, once again, the door card's got the speakers for the Meridian audio, the electric controls for the windows. The rear seats themselves, once again, finished in an ebony leather in a fantastic condition, as you can see. We've got the Isofix points for child seats and child safety. With the USB ports in the back as well for charging devices. Take a look in the boot space, it's a good size. It's hard wearing due to the base. Those rear seats fold down you need to increase the carrying capacity further. There's the button for the deployable tow bar that I mentioned earlier. And there's the tow bar itself having deployed. Take a look at the rear seats now from the opposite side, once again beginning with the door card. And then moving onto the seats themselves just to once again show them off. As we move on to the driver's side, the driver's door card, very similar to the passenger's door card, as I'm sure you'd imagine, only this time additional controls for all four electric windows, as well as the electric wing mirrors. Still got the speakers for the Meridian Audio, as you can see, the Defender aluminium kick plates, and then the driver's seat, perforated ebony leather cooled and heated electric seat. As we climb in and sit down, we sat behind a heated leather multifunction steering wheel. We've got an electric steering column for easy adjustments. We've got that lovely digital cockpit in front of us there as well. The infotainment screen, it's a good size. It's nice and clear, it's nice and prominent. So it's easy to see, easy to navigate, especially whilst driving. The flickering is due to a difference in frame rate between the screen and the video. So that isn't present when you're in the car. If we look around it, we'll see examples of the extended leather dash, as well as the center console in a moment. Now, a few additional features that we do have in this particular Defender. We have a 360 degree surround view camera with integrated reversing camera a 360 degree parking aid. We have keyless entry as well as keyless start. We have ambient lighting, gloss black exterior details as we've seen. We have lane keep assist, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Amazon Alexa. We have Bluetooth connectivity, a DAB radio. We have cruise control with a speed limiter. We have a touch screen as well as blind spot assist. So as we come away from the screen towards the centre console, we see some controls, the dials on the dash there, for the dual zone climate, 
cooled center console compartment under the center armrest. And as we look upwards, we're gonna see a sliding panoramic roof with power blind. It's a fantastic feature to have. It's letting a lot of light in, letting a lot of air in, makes the vehicle a very comfortable, a very enjoyable place to be. This is a one owner car, still under Land Rover warranty until July of 2025. So as we step out to give you another look from the front, I will let you know that this vehicle is now live on our website. So to view pictures or read more specification, please go to gcmotors.co.uk. Additionally, if you'd like to speak to us, you can call us on 01423 500017. We thank you very much for your time today and goodbye.